developing tonight. There could be new clues in the search for a missing 22-year-old man who was last seen about a week and a half ago leaving the Bell & Hand Tavern in Boston. This as search teams were in the water near Nashua Street today looking for any sign of Zachary Marr. Bill Shields is live in Boston for us tonight. And Bill, there is surveillance video that shows him in that area. According to the Boston police, they have new surveillance video that shows Zach Marr apparently right around here. You see the locks in back of me here in the Charles. Apparently he was right around here 10 days ago. They haven't released that video yet, but it prompted a pretty good sized search here by dive teams from the state police and the Boston police from all day today. Two dive teams, Boston police and state police, spend much of the day in the murky waters of the Charles River, right at the locks. They were looking for the body of 22-year-old Zach Marr. He's been missing for 10 days now. We're just worried, sick, we're heartbroken. Family and friends put up flyers shortly after Zach went missing. He'd been at this bar near Faneuil Hall with his cousins. It was early Saturday morning, the 13th, when he stepped out for a smoke without his jacket. This is the last video of Zach. Then he disappeared. I'm working 40 hours a week, and he's going to school full time, taking five classes. Um, and, you know, the stress of our grandmother passing away, and I just hope that he can come home. And apparently, that surveillance video shows Zach right around here on the early morning hours of the 13th. Nonetheless, a massive search effort has failed to produce any results. Reporting live from Boston, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Back to you guys.